Would you like to come out today? Oh, yes, please, said Edward. So they lit his fire, made lots of steam, and Edward puffed away. Ah, oh, Percy, you've told us this same stupid story every year for the past decade. What's wrong, Thomas? Scared? Try bored and annoyed. You're not scaring anyone, Percy. You sound like a broken record, if anything. Thomas does have a point there, Percy. Surely you can come up with some other material for stories? Well, excuse me. I thought it was rather compelling. And for the record, Rosie and Lucy haven't heard it before. What did you think, you two? Well, I thought it was rather intriguing. Did it send a chill down your frames? If I'm being completely honest, no. But, but, how about you, Lucy? Lucy? Lucy! Oh, sorry. It, it was a bit... revealing. What's that supposed to mean? Where did you hear that story from, Percy? Oh, my driver saw it on TV once. What was the program called? The Untold Story of Timothy. <sighs> the title makes my wheels wobble. Goodness. What's wrong? I used to know it, Timothy. What? He worked as a contractor's engine on the west side of the island. One evening he left with a goods train and never came back. I guess I know where he went now. No offense, Percy, but I don't think he'd like his name being used for entertainment. Uh, s sorry. It's... Uh, uh, I gotta get going. See you all later. Toby, you awake? Mm, uh, I'm awake now. Oh, I'm worried. I had no idea that story was real. What, what, what have I done? I didn't want to use his name in vain. Well, what if the ghost g goes after me?
we we better tell the signalman that bridge is out. Yeah, yeah.